What's going on, Rankin family? Welcome back to another beautiful property tour. Today, we are in Houston, Texas, looking at this gorgeous new construction property, completely custom, and you are absolutely gonna find the interior exceptional. Now, starting from the outside, of course, we do have this beautiful glass garage door, as well as the accent metal roof that a lot of folks absolutely love. If you notice on the exterior as well, not only do we have the lantern lightings, but you also have the plastered over the brick where uh, a lot of folks love that as well as the oversized pivot door. That's one of the things you will notice on the outside of the property. But as soon as you walk in, this is exactly what you're greeted with. Now, let me do a moment of silence. You know that is extremely rare. I'm a chatterbox, but I want you to see the inside and really take this all in. Wow, absolutely exceptional. Okay, so the first thing you're really gonna notice is the neutral colors. That's right off the bat. You're gonna have the beautiful engineered wood throughout the first floor as well as the second floor. We'll certainly get to that. So immediately when you walk in, you're gonna notice this formal dining room. You have the brass fixtures right above our dining room table. You also have the Thermador cooler for your wine. Look at that. now. I love the way they have it staged in here. The interior designer did a fantastic job of staging the property. And just look at this. Now they do have that decorated, but of course, if you can imagine your nice scotch, <laughs> you know, anything of that nature, you definitely have it in here. Now this is gonna be your parcel and marble tile. So you're gonna have that in the kitchen on the island, as well as right here on this bar, as well as your wet bar itself. I really love the exterior. Just looking at the interior and the exterior, noticing the beauty in here. Now, if you also notice, you do have the accent uh, right there where your wet bar is. You have the gold brass fixture, as well as some of the built-in cabinetry. Again, that's a lot of the things that you're gonna notice inside of here. Now, stepping inside of the kitchen, you are gonna have the oversized island. Look at that, so you have the cabinets as well. If you notice all throughout the exterior itself, beautiful pot filler, as well as the stack cabinets on top to bottom. Look at the white cabinetry itself. Absolutely stunning. You have your oversized oven with your six burner stove top with the griddle just look at this and of course you can see straight ahead where we walked in from as well beautiful brass fixtures and just look at the depth of this so of course you're going to notice you have some sliders in your breakfast nook which is great as well you have the candlelight chandelier man now the first time we've seen this is the chrome pot filler i believe this is the first time we've seen that usually you see it brass or maybe the black um something of that nature but just look at this if you can imagine doing your dishes right here where your island is and looking straight back <laughs> you can't get much better than that okay so we'll continue along the tour continue this way so you have an extended butler's pantry the one thing you will notice is look at this pantry in itself. You have a sliding glass door, almost like a pocket door, built in storage shelving inside of the pantry that extends as, uh, like a, almost similar to a working pantry, I would say, because you do have a stainless steel refrigerator in here again. So absolutely love that. Really love the simple fact that we have the extended um, cabinetry again you have it that continues all along through here and the cabinetry on the lower end as well now I'll make sure to open every single door for you so that way you can see now you have a little another extension which you can take advantage of right here if you wanted to maybe have some spices or something of that nature and then this is gonna be your garage look at this let me turn the light look at that folks epoxy flooring you have an extension that covers you have another storage area over here that you can take advantage of love it so of course it wouldn't be a complete house without the mud room right so you have the mud room uh, with your upgraded cabinetry again and let's go ahead and take a look at the breakfast nook before we head to the great room so again, like I said, you have the sliders open to the patio, which I absolutely love. You have an oversized picture 
uh, window as well. And just look at this. So almost 5,000 square feet and you're really seeing the depth even on the first floor. We haven't even scratched the surface. Now going into our great room, the first thing you're noticing is your built-ins on both ends. You do have your tile exterior, really sleek, really minimal, but really elegant at the same time, which I really love. And just look at the spacing in here. Of course, like I said, the stager did a fantastic job of just positioning the furniture where it really utilizes the space to perfection. Again, right here, you have some uh, like a nice little accent wall as well. Now going into the study, this is nice because you can utilize this as another bedroom because in the bathroom, there is a closet. But look at this. So built-ins again, you're noticing that theme. You have the nice size baseboards, not the tall baseboards that we like with maybe the molding or something of that nature, but you do have the French doors, plenty of windows for an abundance of natural light, which a lot of folks absolutely love. And then you have a connection to the bathroom. Look at this, herringbone style, tile, wood-like ceramic tile on the bottom, LED lighting inside of our mirrors. And that's one thing you're really gonna notice inside of these bathrooms is that you do have the LED really illuminates. So that way you can get ready in the morning. Don't really have to worry. Also, what you will notice is look as you have the herringbone style on the shower surround, which I love. Very sleek drain, brass, delta shower head, and faucet control. Of course, your toilet, and this is your closet. Walk-ins, and it extends all the way to the ceiling. Loving it. And then, of course, there's no carpet inside of that uh, closet itself, which I love. And then I also love, if you notice on the bottom, it's almost like the floating cabinets that a lot of folks love. And the positioning is fantastic. So if you can imagine closing these doors off, you're inside working, and that way you don't have to worry. And I also love the oversized uh, refrigerator. And let me open up these drawers for you before we head to the next areas. So plenty of storage space, soft closing, storage on the bottom as well and even the cabinet space. Look at that, soft closing as well. So loving this, I'm hoping you're commenting so far. What's your favorite part if you're loving it? If you would change anything, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Okay, before we head to the second level, we have continued storage right here underneath uh, our staircase and then your powder room right here. Look at this. Very sleek, elegant toilet. Of course, you have your, um, you know, the, obviously the buttons that kind of like when I was in England, they had these buttons and that was the first time I had seen that instead of the actual, you know, the handle for your toilet. Brand new lighting fixtures again in here, just extremely elegant. The marble uh, countertops, again, the floating, the exterior of the mirror, if you notice, you have that brass exterior. I love that. And then of course this accent wall on the lower exterior. Continuing along, this is gonna be another storage closet, plenty of space. If you notice, I love the fact that we have the raised ceilings throughout, really gives that illusion of a ton of space. And then even going up your staircase, if you notice, look at this, you have your oversized picture windows again, so, you know, right now it's uh, pretty much close to, you know, eight o'clock or so, give or take. And so you're really seeing, you know, even with it being dark, darker outside, you still have an illumination. So inside of here, this is gonna be a nice little game room that you take advantage of. Upstairs, we're gonna have the beautiful quartz countertops with our built-ins. You have the lip, and you'll also notice that inside of the primary bedroom. So perfect for some LED lighting if you wanna take advantage of that, as well as your LED ceiling fan. Now, the one thing I really want you to see first and foremost before we head to the next bedroom is this is gonna be our primary. Let me slow down for you so that way you can see how beautiful this is. Wow, look at that. That king size bed looks tiny inside of here and that's how much room you have, look at this, beautiful, just elegant decor 
that you have, of course, in here. Oversized picture window, LED ceiling fan again. And of course, you have that little lip. But look at that. That's a king size bed, two nightstands, beautiful rug, and your sitting area. And you still have plenty of walk room. You don't have to worry about anything. Look at that. Okay. So, what we'll go ahead and do next is head to our ensuite. Look at this, folks. First thing you have, of course, is going to be your oversized walk in shower with the waterfall shower head. Freestanding tub, of course, privacy window. And just look at the depth in here. You could, oh my goodness, put some Epsom salt in there. You are relaxing. So, of course, inside of here, you have a shower wand with the oversized waterfall shower head. Beautiful porcelain tile shower surround. Again, beautiful shower floor. And then, of course, our floating counters again, dual sinks, LED mirrors. Look at that, folks. Now, this screams luxury. Just even feeling the ambiance in here, extremely nice. I love the ambient lighting that you're seeing as well in this, uh, this uh, walk-in closet. Look at this. I love it. Really showcasing the wardrobe. This is a perfect place for you. You have your island right here in the middle with a uh, built-in sitting bench. You have built-in drawers again, and just look at this. You have that LED ambiance uh, or ambient lighting that really illuminates your, maybe possibly, you know, if you have some designer clothes, designer shoes, Gucci, Louis, you know, Louis Vuitton, you name it. This will be a perfect place to showcase that. Now, the good thing is there's actually two closets. There's a his and hers closet, and then this is going to be your second closet. Walk in. The good thing is a lot of times you see the hers closets a lot bigger than the his, but in here you still have ample space inside of both of them. They didn't compromise on that, which I absolutely love. The engineered wood continues again, built in drawer space. Fantastic. Okay. Now, right next to the primary is going to be your full utility room, built in slots as well for the folded clothes, built in uh, cabinet space, stack cabinets on top, quartz countertops again, built in sink as well. Love it. And look at this. We even got some GE washer and dryer. So loving that. So real quick, folks, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Always great to have you. I appreciate the continue support and then if this is your first time to the channel my name is marcus rankin i am a texas realtor i get calls texts and emails every single week from folks looking to make a move regardless you know if that's houston dallas san antonio austin reach out so we can get you taken care of and covered um, like i said in the last video we're a little bit backed up but we're working through to make sure we answer every single call get you taken care of so I appreciate the patience. And then last thing, consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd love for you to become a part of the Rankin family. And then that way you don't miss a video every single week when we drop them. Look at this. So this is the pocket door. Look at this, folks. So you have a pocket door going into your walk-in closet, shower tub combo. Now in here you have different material. This is still the wood-like tile, but it's not necessarily the herringbone style or anything like that an extension on our countertops, LED lighting, and then again, soft closing cabinets and drawers. Loving that. So plenty of space for, you know, that full bedroom set that you have. You don't have to worry about that whatsoever. And then continuing along, make sure to open up every single door for you. So you have a storage closet, nice little coat rack that you can take advantage of going into our next bedroom. You have three oversized picture windows. You can go ahead and open that up if you want to. But again, ample space that you can take advantage of. And then look at this. Again, quartz countertops, LED lighting, beautiful walk-in shower or um, closet again, rather. But you do have a walk-in shower in here, which is good. So the other one, you had a shower tub combo in here, full walk-in shower. So love that. Let me be conscious because sometimes I turn you around too quick and I can only imagine how dizzy you might get. 
but I love this space. Put that ping pong table or that L-shaped couch if you want to take advantage of that. Good thing in here, you will have another powder room, which I love. Um, so you can take advantage of that as well. Quartz countertops, again, I'm loving it. Really one of those things that those houses that you can dream about and then once you're in here, you really don't have to move. I mean, unless the kiddos are moved out and you don't wanna deal with any family members and you wanna downsize, but hopefully, and maybe, that's down the road. So in here again, this is gonna be your pocket door. So I love that, that they added a lot of these fixtures because sometimes, or they use uh, doors rather, because sometimes what I'm noticing is that you may have in situations where the doors are just off-putting or in essence, they just not practical, right? They're hitting each other. You gotta move this door out the way to open this one up fully. And once you're dealing with that all the time, it gets quite a nuisance. So, um, or it becomes a nuisance. So you don't really wanna have to worry about that as much. And I didn't mention, so I did say earlier that this was a powder bath, uh, but this is actually a full bath. I don't know if I showed you this, but yeah, walk-in shower right here. So that'll be your last bedroom. This is the shared bathroom. So that's one thing to, uh, to keep in mind. And then of course, last door is another storage closet. So love that. You also have the beautiful brass lighting fixtures on top again. And then the last thing to check out folks is going to be of course our backyard. So really this is one of those homes that if you're in a situation where uh, you know you want to settle down, you want to be close to the city, you don't want to be in the outskirts, which a lot of these beautiful properties are for various reasons, whether they're in master plan communities, they're in a great location as far as a lot's concerned. Um, but if you need to be close to downtown or Montrose or Midtown or something like that, if you know Houston, then this might be a perfect spot for you to take advantage of. Okay. So an extension again, right here where our covered backyard patio, which I love, brand new fencing. Look, it extends all the way over here as well. So plenty of space, brand new HVAC system that you can take advantage of as well. Of course, it's a new construction, so you would hope so, right? And then again, you have sliders as well over here. So, all right, folks, that was the beautiful custom home. All right, Rankin family, I hope you absolutely love this beautiful custom home right here in Houston, Texas. Let me know in the comments what you folks thought about it. If you want more information about this home or any home that we showcase, reach out to the information below. We'll get you taken care of. Consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll see you folks on the next property tour.